thought I hit it. Okay. Um, sorry, we a little, we didn't know we were ready. I guess um, now the light is is that where it's supposed to be? <laughs> we're going to get started. <laughs> um, there we go. Uh, welcome to the uh, oddly starting um, April meeting of the Conway Historic District Commission. Um, First off, a roll call, and we do that uh, verbally. My name is Steve Hurd, Chairman. Emily Walter, Vice Chair. Uh, microphone. Liz Hamilton. <laughs> Margaret West. Marie Kaysen. Shelby Fiegel. Shane Lind. All right. Um, and the next item up we have to start is our uh, uh, normal approval of minutes from last time. Everybody's had a chance to look at those. They were sent with a packet. We could deal with that. I make a motion to approve the minutes. I second. Okay. Let's go motion and second. Any other discussion? Everything's okay with them? Mm -hmm. All those in favor? Aye. Um, Aye. All right. Okay. So before we get started, uh, this is for everyone here pre presenting. If you've done it before, you've heard this, and if not, here we go. Uh, the way we proceed with this is whoever's up, I'll, I'll call for the, for the particular application or applicant. And when you come up, uh, come to the podium. We'll have your information up here, and I can see it on the screen here. So we're all uh, we're all together on that. And uh, I want I need, we need your name and your your uh, address uh, where you live. Not if if you're representing a project, we still need your address. Uh, and um, then speak for it, and I will call for anybody else speak in favor. If there is someone, uh, they they can speak, and then anybody against the pro the project, uh, which occasionally happens but not always and uh, then we'll conclude that part of the open part of the hearing and pull it back to us and and um, probably have questions for the for the applicant at that time um, we may have some while you're presenting too um, and we'll we'll deliberate on it and, and 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 deal with it so with that said we have the first thing we have is um, the exterior modifications to 934 Center Street we have someone to speak for it Hi, I'm Eleanor Roberts at 934 Center Street, Conway. Just, just I've known Kathy for a long time. I've known Kathy, but we you know, went to architecture school together 100 years ago. Good. But um, it seems like 100 years. Has but, I, I, but it was a surprise. <laughs> she was working on windows. Just less so anyway. <laughs> yes, I was putting in some windows and failed to realize that I needed to come here first. And sorry about that. It was just not thinking. And um, so I've already put in two of the windows, which is in a, a one group, and then I have three remaining, which is... The two are on, those two on the south on the, side? They're the outside window. On, on the center, south? On the north. Oh, been okay, put sorry. In. And then the three that have not are on the south side. That's the one, two, three over there. Gotcha. So basically they were have deteriorated to the point where they need to be replaced? Is that... Is that yes, they're inoperable, really. They've always been inoperable. And um, they're kind of, the wood sashes and some of them, they're just, they're degrading, really. Some of them are, some of them aren't, but they're, they need to be replaced. Okay. And, um, and, you know, and then the, the glass isn't quite set in there, and you can kind of feel the, the air, which is nice on a spring day, but it's <laughs> not always, not great on a winter day. <laughs> did, did you ever look into restoring them? I did at the very beginning, and I had forgotten that I did that. Marianne had had sent it um, a person person's name because I was going to do that, and then he just didn't respond back, and or have responded, and then just did not respond, and then I, I completely then had to do other projects that were more immediate, and I just forgot about it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anybody have any questions? Are they the same size that you're going back in with? That was. Are the windows the same size? Um, no, there aren't. There's a, there's different sizes. Oh, I'm sorry. The, the new windows are the same size as the existing. The yes, they were. Um, they were measured and they're built exactly the same size. And it's the same style as I think the material is just a little bit different. And did you see the staff recommendation? Have you seen? No, I didn't. Staff recommendation. 
Too yeah, just that you use the same form with the materials. It's the same. It is. Okay. It's the exact. It literally, it's the exact. The measure. That's what it sounded like from Liz's okay. question. Okay. Okay. What you said the material's different. Well, it's not the the wood. I mean, what it is it vinyl? It's, it's a vinyl. Because those are the old woods from I'm guessing 1942. And I'm guessing they're, they're, I don't know if they're the original or not, because I know the house has changed hands. Do you want to explain that? <laughs> and then there are Pella windows that, that you can see them. Yeah. Were you going to say something? Yes. Yeah, so I was not aware that they were vinyl instead of wood. Uh, so that, that would change the staff recommendation. Even if they're on the side of the house. But I did do a picture of the one that has replaced, and, and you can see the picture, and it's exactly the same and actually looks a little bit better. And, um, and you really you can't see the material. You, you can't. The only downside to that is Vinyl is like a restricted, like we do not use that material um, in the historic district. Um, so that's why you saw all of our eyes kind of go wide when that when that was said. Well, do you have the, and I didn't bring it with me because I thought you had all of the, um, all it of didn't my say information, in the, but it, the information should be on that, um, on the, the, the I was looking back through and I did not see any mention of the material being used um, unless somebody else saw that and I didn't. And the only exception that we've, the only, I guess, exception that we have accepted has been when the windows are on the back of the house. Do we yeah, even do that in the Robinson? Run. I thought, I thought all, every side had to be wood in Robinson. It's the overlay that's the exception. Yeah, I mean, in, in the overlay, yes. Yeah. It's, it, yeah. Vinyl windows are fair, yeah. fair game. And what do you mean the overlay? Okay. There's a, the, I explained it to clients, outside the brown signs, the, the whole historic district is large, but the Robinson Historic District is the brown signs, and so there's That's more, basically, and it's basically governed by the state. Yeah, there's stricter the rules. State, yeah, yeah, the state governs the rules within the historic district, and that was my fault. I thought it was yeah. on the back, but... Uh, I was mistaken, so so it's just those not. three windows are they are literally falling to pieces. I mean, I just I mean really we can far. we can approve the we can approve windows. They just can't be vinyl material. Like you'll have to get new ones, like so. wood or hardy board. Well, wood, I don't know, hardy board windows. Yeah, I don't. No, I don't think wood, hardy board wood, windows. Yeah, yeah. wood. And, and Pella makes wood windows. I mean, just for I'm sorry. Pella makes wood windows. I mean, that, that's well. I already have these windows. Yeah. And because I did not realize or think about it honestly, and just knew that they needed to be replaced, and knew that those are the ones that needed to be replaced. Yeah, I think that I think that we're just in a difficult situation because within, like Emily said, the historic district, there's no fluctuation. Like there's we stick with what the state sets as the standards. If it was the overlay, we might could expand that conversation, but um, I, for one, am not willing to for the historic okay. district. And I hate that. I really hate well, that. Well, I don't think we have a choice. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's no, yeah. Set. There's no exceptions. It's a policy, yeah. no exceptions. Yeah. Okay. Well, so what do I do? So basically, so, I can't put those windows in. so basically, what we'll do is I'll go ahead. Does anybody else have any questions or discussion mm -hmm. before I? So what what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a motion well, to approve the well, replacement me, of those windows, but with not, not, just oh, I need to add, I need to. Oh, you the, haven't done the yeah. Four this, again. this is just part of the order, but I need to see if there's anybody else here to speak in favor of the project, and if there's anybody here to speak in opposition to the project. Nobody's getting up. So. Continue. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that, Steve. I, I know, you're my fine. brain was already. We did that before. Um, we will. We will motion to approve the replacement of the windows, but the windows will have to be wood material as per the historic district guidelines. And we can 
go ahead and approve that they be installed. You don't have to come back to us as long as you get with James and his staff to say, to show that you're following those did, guidelines. Did you say materials. one has already been replaced with yes. vinyl? Yes, well, that's going to have to come that, out. Yeah. That was the issue. Yeah. That's going to have to come out. It's going to yeah. have to come out. And we have to put the old windows back. No, no, they can be new yeah. windows, but they yeah. need to be wood windows. Yeah, you that's, can still, that's what they're saying. We'll still, I mean, you can decide if you want to put the old ones back in or if you want to get new ones, that'll be up to you. But we'll go ahead and approve for new windows to be installed as long as they have the appropriate material. Okay. That way you just don't have to resubmit, go back through this whole process okay. and wait for us next month. Somebody has to. Second. That or, <laughs> you don't have to you don't want to. But. Oh, so, I'll second. I don't know why I said we need to say I'll second. Sorry. Okay, we have a do you want to repeat the motion? I'll repeat the motion. Yeah. The motion is to approve new windows to be installed with appropriate material, which would be wood, um, or you have the option to replace with the old windows that you have if that's your choice. Um, okay. but either way. So we have a motion and a second. Any more discussion? Do we ever approve? I know Pella makes a wood window that's clad in something else for the longevity of the materials. I'm just curious. Do we ever approve that's, wood that's, clad I, 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 There's. I know they have I wood clad. Have they have metal. wood inside, clad outside. They have you know wood up both sides. I've got. That's what I've got in mind. But um, is is there a, a, a what? What we're principally concerned with is. The exterior, so it could be marshmallows on the inside, as long as it's wood on the outside. Mm -hmm. So wood windows, period. There's a no, no clad. But you probably wouldn't want marshmallow windows. Yeah. So. Okay. 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 And then I also was going to paint. Does that? It doesn't matter. We don't I do can't paint. No, we don't. No, do, you can't. No, no, no we, yeah, don't. we we don't have a jurisdiction over. We don't do color. We don't. We don't do color. We paint. Yeah. Paint the house yes. all you want. Yes. That I think good. I saw gutters in here. We don't have jurisdiction over that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we have a motion and a second. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. One opposed. Um, And for any clarification, if you want to get with James and them, just to double check stuff, be a good idea. So, with that. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Okay. So, you, are you going to, so that's that? Mm -hmm. That's kind of okay. it, yeah. Yeah, we, we will issue a, a certificate of appropriateness. Okay. Um, and then we'll, but we'll, Lauren and our office will get back with you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, the next one we have on our agenda is 1724 Robinson, the accessory structure with we have someone, your name and address, and then we're ready to go. Hi, I'm Jenny McNulty, 1724 Robinson Avenue. <clears throat> oh, just, and it's yeah, me, just, sorry. <laughs> it's and your, here we go. It's your, um, your show right now. <laughs> so um, I, um, I own four lots that are connected. Three of them are currently connected as the 1724 Robinson address. And the back lot I own, but it is not correct connected to that address. Um, so in talking with city planning and various officials um, in this project, what I'm proposing to do is the carriage house behind the house, which is crumbling, falling apart, and disrepair, um, I would like to repair the existing structure, make a couple of changes to it, and then add on to the back to make it into a studio Airbnb type space. Um, Short-term rental, kind of a mother-in-law's quarters. Um, to do so, I would need to replat. So I would make the front two lots um, into 1724 Robinson and then connect the back two lots as a separate lot. Um, ideally, those four lots are going to stay connected in my possession for as long as I'm there, and it, it, which I plan to be for a very long time. Um, so ideally, it, they're not going to be disconnected, but in theory, they'll have to be split up in order for me to make that a its own Structure, if that makes so, sense. No, legal, legally, this you have two lots that you own. Correct. And on one is one building, on one is another building. Correct. Yeah. Yes. So that's that's the plan. Um, and so I've submitted um, documents about or images of what that will look like. Here are the plans. 
Um, we tried to keep some, to pull some of the um, structural elements from the, the large house, 1724 Robinson, into this design to try to connect them. Um, the existing carriage house, nothing will be taken away from it. We're keeping the same window, the same doors. The only thing is, rather than having like this old sliding garage doors, it will be um, sliding glass doors that would be replaced there um, to make it functional as a living space as opposed to a carriage house because I don't own a carriage. So <laughs> that's the overall plan. Questions? Anybody have any questions real quick before I call for anybody? Let me call for you. Mm -hmm. okay, I wanna, I'm, I'm, is anybody here to speak in favor of the project with, along with Ms. McNulty? Anybody's here to speak in opposition? With that said, now it's all ours. And, okay. Uh, uh, so, yeah. <laughs> yes. You had a question or a comment? Oh, you took a breath in. You've seen the recommendations? I have, yes. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Yeah, any questions on that? I, mean, um, I don't believe windows and we can read i know the the existing images don't show windows exactly as you asked but we can obviously nothing's yeah. been done we can adjust that it, and i will do wood windows noted yeah um, <laughs> yes, um, yes you will um now, you understand the the windows double hung single you know one over one windows it, you know is it sounds like the standard but it kind of is i mean it's and it, it um well anyway uh, as opposed to casement windows you know, that's just that's not okay. kind of the the norm so that's that's one that, yeah we that can that can be adjusted okay. for sure okay um well also to me number two it, it, you talk about the gable for the entry of the new addition kind of kind of mimicking or dealing you know, like the like the existing the columns, gable we tried to well the col yeah. i think the columns are fine it's just the 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 roof piece itself okay well how the the uh the existing end of the of the garage carriage house has a little little bird box or little returns there as opposed to going all the way across and how the the little the um, gable for the entry it goes all the way across with the slope it's just it's it's basically opening that up like the like the end of the of the carriage house does that make sense okay so would that, that, that need to be brick disjointed. or could that no be... no it's not it's not so much that the material i, I wouldn't know wouldn't put brick up there but okay. it just that that's it and, and i just i was kind of being specific but the the, the sentence it's kind of a general, it should match it a little bit, maybe a little bit more. I mean, it's, this pitch is fine, I think. Okay. It looks like it's fine, doesn't it? Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so okay. it's it's just, it, they, right now, I mean, they, they, it's, yeah, it's on the same building, it's got the same roof pitch, but just get them, make them a little more like one came from the other kind of thing. Okay. Um, on that note, if we're, if we're asking for things. Um. <laughs> I was just telling. I wouldn't ask. <laughs> I mean, you know. Well, I'll I'll, I'll ask. Um, so the your your ex your existing structure has the pediment that's that's flat over the. Nope. Okay. This is your house. Correct. Seventeen twenty four. Yes. <laughs> so the pediment here, thank you, is flat over, and you have the double columns on either side, which I think mm -hmm. is lovely. Mm -hmm. And so then, if if I was asking for things, I would ask that that be replicated on the. So on instead the, of in this, you want I mean, this. You know, just huh. if you think about it. If I think about it, okay, I will. That would be my suggestion. I will talk with you. That that wouldn't be a, a a bad thing to do. I mean, I, it, if if it's going to be a gable, make it let it match the gable that's already there on the existing, or is that is that yeah. is that satisfying? Okay, mm -hmm. or match your the front of that. But it, I, the I'm, only argument I would make maybe not so much for that. What is it? They're two separate structures, or I mean, they're, but it's just that's to me not a not a something to to fight over. <laughs> Just yeah, it's, it's a, no. I think it's, a, it's 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 yeah. a suggestion. But the the first first thing the comment there is you know making the the gables look like they're they're from the same same okay. hand. But that's a valid that's a valid uh, suggestion too. So I have a, I have are a we question. adding that to are we adding that to the recommendations or well, not? Well, I mean, we uh, we just threw that. It's got thrown out there. We'll. So okay. yeah. Okay. I can we can draw it up that way and see what it looks like compared. It may it may physically not you know kind of it may not work like what what's the feel you want and that's that's I think it's fine but it's just okay. it's just something to explore I guess is what is, Liz is that more of what you were uh, yeah kinda, I might even make if, if I make whatever to uh, make the motion to the, uh, item number two would be revised to say require the gable for the new entry match the form style and materials of the existing gable on the west facade or the entry porch of yeah the it's just just options that's all. Yeah. one or the other yeah not not do that yeah <clears throat> okay okay um i know we're in the robinson historic district 
I'm going to bring up the painted brick. I know the house <laughs> originally wasn't painted brick. We all know that. So, yeah. and it was painted in the last few years. With that said, this carriage house, if it's going to be, is it going to be a new address? Is mm -hmm. it, okay, then to me, I don't think we should allow painted brick. Um, I know it says that it's allowed here, but in the Robinson District, even with add-ons before, we've never made an exception to have painted brick. I'm speaking specifically like Houston and Jenny Davis when they came and had that, you know, they wanted to paint the brick for that add-on and we wouldn't allow it. Yeah. I think the, I, I struggled with that in review. I think the, the, I think the difference in that case was that it was, it was at the rear. It was the, it was, it had already been done before in, in terms of adding brick. And so it was, and it was somewhat less visible. Um, I, I would normally be a proponent and say, don't paint it whatsoever. But the fact that there's going to be a, it'll be a very large addition. Mm -hmm. And that brick looks to be a style of brick that's very yeah, unique and it it is. very hard to mimic. Um, that, that, that was the reason why I said in this instance that painting yeah. and, would be and, appropriate. I tend to agree. I'm sorry. I mean, if I could speak to I. I honestly did not want the brick painted myself. Um, mm -hmm. It happened, I can't undo it. Um, but with that said, I went back and forth as well because I do love the way the old brick looks. But mm -hmm. when you look at, and I mean, I, I've walked that around that block a thousand times and every time I come around, when you see the two structures together, which they will be intended to be seen together, it, they just don't match the way that they are right now. I so, agree, um, yeah. And it's unfortunate we have to, we've been to matching what was done I, wrong, I know. You know? and it, that's not, I'm yeah. not, and that's not you. If I could just, undo the paint, I would, I yeah. can't. <laughs> but the, the percentage of existing brick once it's added on, and, and that, I don't know, I, 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 when, when she was first thinking about this, she asked for my just consulting, whatever, just we walked around, that's what I, what I do here, but um, just to hear what she was wanting to do and everything, you know, I, I, generally speaking, I don't, I don't commit to anything <laughs> on somebody's property, but it, you know, it sounded like it ends up what she was talking about, but that that original is going to take a lot of work just to stabilize that brick, and it may, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know that brick may not be have to be replaced. Well, yeah, on it, it's good, and that uh, may end up being a patchwork just on that on that to, original piece. Yeah, was, to me personally, it's an accessory structure that's being added onto to turn it into a house. Yeah, I'm not like I mean I'm fine with the painted brick. Yeah. I wanted to play devil's advocate because uh, we're going to have yeah. that conversation from somebody sure. else I, down the road. Well, They're going to bring and this two, up. And two, I actually had a conversation oddly enough today with a mason, brick mason. And we were talking about painted brick. And he said, one of the things you have to worry about is moisture yep. that's already in the brick. Yeah. Right. And that when you paint over it, you have a really good chance of trapping that moisture and causing mold, like oh, yeah. mold I, to get in there. I've, so I've, that's something I've lectured a couple you of need yes. to Yes, Steve gave me that, that lecture yeah. as well. well. And, and that, um. here's, the, here's the next thing. The thing that you can do for, with the new construction, and it, it goes to cost, also longevity is you can if you're going to paint it use a like a concrete brick that stuff's hard as rock and it, it modern brick takes paint better anyway it doesn't it doesn't let moisture come through like old brick does anyway so you know there there's if, if we're letting paint there's options on what she can do mm -hmm. to, to even keep the thing there longer and i'll also say with the with the existing structure um the architect i'm working with he um i mean it's it's in pretty bad shape and so one thing he said was Painting it would also help keep it, keep the brick and keep everything kind of. We yeah, would be able to make more repairs to make it. There's going to need make to be it. some repairing that may yes. show <laughs> show as a. It, it's it's yeah, it's not like it's falling down, but it it's it needs some TLC. Yeah. Um, no. I mean, so. just no, for the fine. record, I agree. I don't like the two ma non matching. I was just. Oh, you're fine. No, I plan devil's advocate you're for fine. conversation down the road. We got you. Because somebody gotcha. will bring it up. No, yeah. I think it's good, Emily, well, that you brought that up and we have it on record that we discussed well, it. Well, like like this compared to the one on, on the stuff the street, they're two different projects. Each, mm -hmm. We're not supposed to, we're supposedly not setting precedent by each thing we do. So I, I you mm -hmm. know, but but again, that's fine to have the conversation. Yeah, I will say also when we did paint, I did go to city planning. Somebody else was in charge at that time, yeah. and um, I was told that we could paint it any color we wanted to at the time, yeah, and did color. not have to. So, no, I agree with yeah. that because so. I, I think, yeah, color. Yeah. That's not, colors aren't. We're not doing color. You know, that's that's right. too much. No, of she was saying I she did paint the brick. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, did a, I'm sorry. I did go to city planning and asked yes. if we could paint the brick, and gotcha. was told that we we were able to at that time. Oh, so okay. Yes, I did I, my due diligence. I flipped it. I flipped a house in our in our district before I got on the board or knew anything about it. And they also told me I could paint the brick back in the day. 
Mm-hmm. It was and a different person. There. It was not that James. So. That's, that's <laughs> no, been in the guidelines for a long time. No, anyway. I know. Anyway, well, that's, that's again, we, we'll deal with well, that. Well, I mean, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Um, any, any other issues on there, Jenny, that you need to see? Other, otherwise, it's just um, our standard, uh, any uh, heating and air equipment needs to be screened or, or you know, okay. back where you can't see it. Uh, and the revisions, like the windows, you need to resubmit the, the drawings to, to planning just okay. for them to say, you know, COA is, is we'll approve it, or if, well, if we approve it, um, COA is contingent upon you resubmitting the, the okay. proper things in there. So, sorry, I got ahead of myself. On the first recommendation, do we need to amend that to say wood windows? Uh, I. In probably. light of our, <laughs> yeah, I know, last I know, probably item. so. I mean, that, that it's. I guess I, I kind of always thought it kind of went, it was understood, but apparently it wasn't. So, I have it in um, all caps in my notes. So. <laughs> well, and why don't show you? What, and are we do, asking? Oh, go ahead. For, well, basically, do we want to put that in the? I'm, I'm asking. I'm not asking you, but you usually are the keeper of the of the motions and the recommendation stuff. It's I know. Tonight. I know. I mean, if you want us to, that's fine. That's. I'm, I think but, it's. I think that would be good. I think just, it needs yeah. to be. It's no, just to we, state what's in the guidelines. I mean, guidelines. I think let's let's get a motion on the floor first, and then we can okay. modify. I, I would say, Liz, you go ahead since you had that other suggestion. <clears throat> okay, very good. I make a motion. Okay, and also I might recommend that the first recommendation is not only match the size but style of the window on the west elevation also, because it's a sixteen light. Or, I mean, are we? Are we? No, I, mean, I guess that's part of the discussion. No, no, they're as well. one over. They're, they're, the recommendation is one over one windows, but that's going to kind of be its unique allow thing. Allow them to match the existing window. That's it would there be on the... either. It would be with plastic snap-in things that we don't allow. Can you? Can so, you not buy a window with the? I imagine you can. I mean, but I, I, cost is generally not not a a, a consideration, yeah. but when you're thinking about. One over ones versus something of that. I mean, those are a very niche type of. I, you but know, we're asking her window. to match the size of that existing window, right? So these windows that she has shown in here are going to have to get bigger. Correct. Is that right? Is that what we're yeah. asking? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that an issue yeah. with what you have going on? Um, we we can adjust it. Um, okay. we we've, we've already kind of looked at how to do it with the one over one. Okay. Um, I am concerned about the eight cost, but. <laughs> Okay, yeah. no, that's fine. And, I, and I, I was going to add. I was going to add to that, that from Department of Interior set the first guidelines that we then they get down to the state. You're supposed to delineate new from old if you can, okay. and that addition will will be it'll match color and all that kind of stuff. But the fenestration of it will be okay. distinctly new. Okay. You know, so that's, that's that's a it won't it won't be, somebody won't go down the street. Oh, there's two different pieces of building there, but it's just. You know, if we if we hold to that, which sometimes it's hard to, sometimes hmm. it's easy to. You know, that's interesting. So, but there's a point at which that gets silly. If you don't, if you delineate too much, you don't. Yeah, it's just so anyway. So, um, with okay. That said, well, work. then I make a motion to approve the recommendations with the adjustment to item two that the existing that the uh, new gable on the entry will could match the gable on the west facade, or the entry porch on the on the original structure of seventeen twenty four. Robinson. I second. Thank you. So we have a motion a second, but did, we didn't address this. I'm going to I'm gonna make an amendment to that motion and say that we put that it needs to be wood for recommendation. Which is the number one. Yeah. Yeah. No, okay. we'll second that. So okay. everybody, everybody's okay with that? And then okay Shane that seconded my Okay, so both of you are okay with that on your motion. All right, any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Thank you all. And Thank Jen, you. Jen, this will be a great project. Um, well, you got to get some revised drawings back. So as soon as you get that, then he'll give you the process for the COA and stuff. Will will come after that. Uh, normally, it's no problem here. It's like tomorrow, next day. But that, it's going to wait for okay. revised drawings. So. Um, I've got to my brother, so hopefully pretty soon. <laughs> So Have you gone through spring, you're doing. Commission, planning commission, or is that next step? Yes, next step. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yes. Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those are those are those are fun hoops. I did that too. <laughs> Actually, it's just it's a minor replat. Mine wasn't. I didn't see the the, the, the checkbook said it wasn't. 
Anyway. <laughs> you don't want to see a major subdivision. I know, I know, no, I don't. <laughs> okay, all right, next one up is uh, the uh, new single family residential, uh, not development, but two on, at 1110 Neal Street. If somebody speak for that. How's it going? Good. Uh, my name is Dylan Richard, and uh, I own those two lots there on the corner of Garland and Neal. And uh, this is actually Lane Wallace, who will be the uh, the contractor and the builder okay. for. Uh, what are both of y'all's home addresses? For uh, 30, 3355 Tuscarora Drive is mine. Okay. In Conway. I'm 148 West Pleasant Valley Road in uh, Wooster. Okay. Greenbrier, I guess. Okay. Just re for the record stuff, we have to do that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what you got? Uh, so we are planning on building uh, the 1,400 square feet, two, two separate homes. Uh, it's lot 24 and 25 there on the corner. Uh, they're just going to be kind of geared towards first-time home buyers, size-wise and price-wise. And we're just attempting to kind of be a part of the Oak Street, you know, fill-in overlay that's kind of happening in that corridor. Sure. And bring a little bit, uh, you know, beautification to the area of currently what's there uh, right now, you know across the streets, a trailer park, and then on the two corners are two burned down houses and uh, all sorts of stuff. Uh, bad things happened <laughs> on that lot uh, yeah. that we currently, I mean, that's where the guys uh, was murdered last month actually oh. on. So we are trying to, uh, we're, we're doing our best to make a, uh, a more positive impact on, on the area and kind of be maybe the first little bit of change in the area. And uh, I actually spoke with one of the owners of the, Houses that were born that were burned down there on the corner. He does plan on tearing that down and building new construction there too. So, uh, you know, this may be a kind of a start. To, sure. Yeah. And there is a there's a third lot uh, next to these two lots, uh, and I've been in contact with uh, the owner of that lot too. So I am trying to buy the third lot and would want to put something, ident you know, pretty much identical to these two. And sure. Have okay. Three right there, but. Well, if I could, if you yep. do that, do something a little different than the, I mean, we're, we've got some issues, not issues, but things talk about the two identical, but if we can keep the, the cookie cutter thing down, I don't mean much change, you know, it's just, yes, it's, the plan can, mm. usually plan can be similar. I didn't, I'm jumping ahead, but at, right. you know, if, if you uh, talk about a third one, yeah. you know, this, uh, but that's, that's, that's another day. Mm. Um, so I didn't interrupt you, but uh, no, it'll be fine. Ahead. Okay. So is that, but yeah, I think, I'm, I think uh, that's, I mean, Adding of the windows, I know that was noted. Uh, as you can see, the two the two burnt down homes right there, uh, and the trailer park. So I think what we are going to do, regardless of what was put there, is going to be better than what's there. Uh, and we're fine with all the suggestions. You know, adding of the windows, okay. uh, flipping the one house to where um, kind of the driveways were inner interfacing. That, you know, that, that's in, a nice privacy for both both. Yes, sir. Homeowners. Too. Yeah. So that. Yeah. Always, yeah. So. And there are, I mean, those are going to be large backyards. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we did really keep it in mind for a family of, of who would be buying those. And we didn't want to go the rental route, really. We wanted to kind of put something so there. So you are, you are going to sell them then? That's yes, sir. Okay, good. Yes, sir. Good deal. Yeah. Good deal. yeah. So okay. uh, I the only thing that we, I mean, with them being kind of first-time home, you know, buyers, we're not going to list them at a really astronomical, you know, price. I, I would sure. think anywhere like you know, 205, 210, you know, somewhere, you know, reasonable for, uh, for what the prices are, you know, and, uh, and for new construction homes are right now, uh, you know, there's not really anything that size that is new construction ground up in Conway right now. Uh, you've got Rosh Coleman stuff. Uh, that's really the only comparable thing. And mm -hmm. those houses are 230 and above. Uh, the only thing that we wanted to talk about, I guess, or out of those items would be the using actual, you know, hardy wood for, go let, ahead. Let me interrupt you. Just yep. let, me, let me do my, the, the pro forma, just let me ask for other people speaking, then we'll, we'll bring it back to yeah. being us. So, so and I, I know the answer because there's nobody behind you that, that's <laughs> not related to another project. Anybody here speaking in, in favor of the project and anybody here speaking in opposition to it, either one of those being there, carry on. So now it's not, now it's, we're, we've closed it now. It's, we're discussing yeah. the, these parts and pieces, like you're yeah. saying. Yeah. The, the only thing that we, I mean, that we really saw out of that list would be the the actual wood, the using real wood for the soffit and fascia. We, you know, we're we're fine using real wood for that that well, hardy for the front of the house, that big gable. Well, hardy is isn't hardy an option for the soffit stuff? Yes. Where, yeah. Where, and that that's. 
that is a kind of a standard condition that that goes yeah. in every. It's one that replies. It's just a, basically took a section of the code out and put it in there because it it was a frequent cause of confusion. Yeah. Uh, okay. So it's what's, the, what's it's always wood or hardy. Real wood, if you know, but rarely people do it or hardy. Yeah. Hardy, which is the kind of the next level of things, yeah. but not vinyl or you know that kind of stuff. That's all you know. Saying there's there's, I forget the name now. There's another. It's a hardy L- LP smart side. Okay. There's you know there's a couple of options there, mm. but it's short it's of just wood. A, it's like a fiber cement well, yeah, material. I'm, that's yeah. What it is. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question on um, number four. We have said it needs to feature wide trim. Do we need to specify what wide is because wide <laughs> is pretty vague? Yeah, well, I mean, standard for, I've got a 1913, I have other houses are almost identical. It's a, basically it's a one by six. And it's okay. five and a half inches, five inches, five and a half inches is typical. And that's, that's all I've ever seen done. So, I mean, we're not, is it? Do we need to specify that? Wide? It might. Yeah, the, the wind, you know, it, a lot of times we get just same trim, all, all four sides, you know, and yeah. just, the trim and it just needs to be trimmed out with, you know, a head and a sill and the jam pieces that, that are, are are you talking about interiorly? Exterior. Okay. So interior, ex, you can. You so can, ex, the exterior trim width you're talking yes, about. Yes. Yes. Okay. Because yes. you're going to trim with the with hardy board. You're going to you know come up to it anyway. You're going to yeah. trim. But well, because the the house brick. is going to be brick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So. <laughs> so there wouldn't. The I know that now. Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah. Never mind. It, I, my apologies. It, it, it would be I knew that. It's going to be cheaper just to do honestly brick for the cost of. Oh what, no, you're right. You're yeah. right. I'm fine. So, I'm, okay. I was. I, was I don't know if you're talking about interior because we weren't no, no. planning on trimming out. Okay. No, no. Interior okay. is uh, okay. your, at yours. And it, it it will be all brick. There won't. You know. I mean. So uh, besides the. Well, it, I think again. I think that that comment is is one we use a lot. Where you got mm-hmm. windows outside. Make sure it's wide trim. Okay. Brick precludes it. Just yeah. you know, nixes that. So yeah. Sorry. So do we need to remove that part of on the this one? Yeah. It's it's a it's a typical. Sorry about that. Make get everybody yeah. even the hardy side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's a, something to talk about. So we're but hmm. uh, again back to your which recommendation were you wanting to so visit? What was he? Yeah. And our, our you know we're, we've talked about or. You guys have talked about windows a lot tonight. Uh, <laughs> are are vinyl windows allowed in this overlay? In the overlay okay. district, they are. Because okay. yeah. that's what I yeah. I try to read through it a few times. Yeah, to, but uh, there, I, I mean, just wanted to make sure. You know, I, we don't encourage it, but they're 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 yeah. allowed. Just painless, yeah. uh, uh, literally, and, and that's no pain. They I are, mean, and that yeah, it's they're two different two different districts. Basically, we yeah. have to say we look overlook both of them. But um, I was going to say something. I forgot what it was. Oh, but the one over one. That's it. The uh, the one over one requirement is pretty standard. We don't. We just don't like doing the fake divided light. You know, yeah. either district. It's just. It's. It's just. It's too much. But um, and it's. I mean, it's. You don't have to worry about them breaking. And I mean, just one over one is as simple as it can be, mm-hmm. and pretty standard in in a majority of the of older homes. So, um, you know, it, it makes it easy on everybody. Anything, was there anything else? To, again, you got the you know the list there of, of where we're talking about adding windows and things because of the our requirement on on facades. And, I, and the I, adding of the one bedroom when uh, the if you go to the the left elevation, that bedroom already has a window, so it needs a second window. Is that? I mean, yeah, the that. That, We're talking uh, about the left elevation, yes, ma'am. Recommendation. Yeah, it's got one around the corner, right? Yes, that's, it's that's that, the front of the house. On page right. twenty. So we need to, even right. though that bedroom has one, it needs a second one. Right, mm-hmm. right. Okay. It's it's more from the outside than the inside. I mean, we're not, and you know, th- we've had issues with people. Oh, we can't put furniture on on the walls if there's a window, and that's uh, anymore. That's that's uh, that's not really an issue because that people, will but, be interiorly facing once they're flipped. It's not, I mean, yeah. that side with all the windows is going to be facing the road so, once it's flipped. So, I mean, I don't know why, you know, that's why I'm at, you know. Yeah. On one of them. Um, well, there well, won't be a road on the, you know, yeah. they're both going to be exteriorly with all the windows. Yeah. Is there a percentage that we're trying to meet, though, James? Yeah. A percentage on, of glass? On sides, not necessarily. If we're, yeah. it's, on, it's on the the 25 to 40% is on, this is Brian. Okay, that's just the front. 
Okay. Yeah, if we're if we're flipping the one that ha the most the more windows as it's shown right now, yes, sir. the one with the most windows will now be flipped to the street. On both, yeah, on both. Yeah. You know, it'll be exterior. On the right. interior will be the yeah. less At window the driveways, side. Correct. Both driveways will be that. I'm. Yeah. I mean, I'm okay for that to be yeah. like it is. Yeah, I, 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 that actually fixed that recommendation yeah. when so, you flipped it. Yeah, so, yeah, adding. Yeah. yeah, we're adding technically, you know, three windows by flipping. Yeah, yes. you, you mm -hmm. give more, more. Yeah, the exposure now has. My brain windows. had to like I know, process I know, that very deeply head. before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's number what, seven. So okay, so strike number okay. seven. Yeah, we're not taking out four. We're just taking off a wide trim line. Like four. Yeah. Yeah, and seven uh, seven goes away. It was requiring that window. I guess I'm I'm hesitant to say anything, but I, it's not you and this project. But we the, the people who prepare the drawings for you do do fine work, but we always have the same <laughs> exact comments to be redone on everything, and I'm, yeah. I get, and that's not to you. I'm sorry. I, I'm just wondering out loud if we can send them a set of guidelines. And I mean that as 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 snarky as I can. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired of. We we look at this every time, and it's the the with the divided windows, everything, and it's always. But when do we get? And this? I'm sorry. This this it's. You, you, don't they have this, and then they come to us to apply? They don't apply first and then come, do they? I'm sorry. What now? What. Maybe I'm misunderstanding. I'm no, I'm talking the people who prepare these yeah. drawings, not them. Yeah. We get the same, not the same drawing, but the same issues every time. Mm -hmm. Is it's, that just how their software does windows? I don't, it, your software is done by your hand. Uh, you know, uh, uh, it's it's not. So you can choose yeah, how you want your I'm, windows to look. Oh, like I'm just. I was uh, not wanting to go there on that. I just. Yeah, yeah we it, it's and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just I, I was sitting here just trying to. I'm going to hold my tongue. Yeah. Did but, either of you have any other questions about the yeah. recommendation? And you're, you're going to build the thing nice. I'm not, you know, it's not, that, that, that has no reflection on, on, on this. I'm not worried about it. Um, but uh, it's just something that we've been I've dealt with for several years now. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, with that said, um, any if other you're questions? good with, um, if you're good, are you good with everything else? The, the yeah. Guidelines? yeah I just didn't know. So uh, in regards to the soffit and fascia, it being, you know, whether you want to call it, you know, wood or a, a form of wood, that the the upkeep on that, on building these and selling them to someone, they're going to have to, you know, repaint that. They're going to have to, up, you know, I mean, like it kind of falls into a category of that's something that would yeah. be on a, a lot nicer home. And the what hardy board, correct? Or, yeah, you. I mean, you but have. There's to, you not know, that much of it. Well, there's not not much. But the, also, the, it's, the soffit and fascia is well, quite the, a and, bit. And the, the, uh, Yep, it's it's it comes it comes factory primed, which is going to last a long time. And paint paint doesn't react the same as it does on wood to this stuff. This is more stable, uh, moisture is different, so it's it's a it's a different animal having to paint it. I mean, I'm not going to say it's never going to be repainted. That's I mean that's that'd be mm. silly, you know. But but it's a lot less um, of a headache than than wood, mm. just because the wood is like a sponge with moisture, right? You know? And this is more stable. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. I'm not going. Hey, you, you can't. We can talk all day about it. You know, well, it's you know, you only every every five years and two months or what or what. You know, it, yeah. It's just it's and I, you know, home ownership kind of comes with some things to do. <laughs> right. You know? Like like HVAC and things that are supposed to fail. Yeah. But you know, when you think of having to repaint siding, that's not one that I would consider in 2022 as a home ownership. Well, see, that's. I guess I'm, I think I'm confused Where by the we, question. Are you asking we, not to we, use wood or to yeah, use we, vinyl? Or? We're asking if we can use a vinyl soffit and fascia instead of hardy board because hardy board is just very expensive to install mm -hmm. and you got to paint it and someone's got to maintain it. Right. It's just on a first, you know, on a home we're trying to keep priced to people who can afford them. You know, I build a lot of higher end homes and we still don't put hardy board on soffit mm -hmm. and fascia. People don't want the upkeep. I mean, the paint's going to flake off eventually. It's going to. It's gonna do what paint does on the outside. It's just inevitable. Yeah, I thought that was the I thought that was the question you were asking. But oh, um, I mean, I oh. mean, we'll go back to our earlier conversation of, I mean, the vinyl. I had to do a lot of research on vinyl when I joined the historic district commission, and it just warps so easily. There is upkeep well, associated well, with it. 
Uh, they just, yeah. That's why it's a material that we well, don't what, recommend. What's, what's the, the board and batten siding? What's that going to be? That will be hardy board on the gable. It was just on soffit and fascia okay. like underneath. Yeah. About 90, probably 99% of homes are going to be vinyl. It's vinyl well, on that, the home, bottom and it'll be aluminum yeah. on, the, on the fascia. Yeah. Well, the, and, and that's just, that's just our, kind of our standard and it's not a, it's not a bad standard. It's, it's, um, I, I get, I guess I'm. The reason it's in there is it's taken directly out of the, the ordinance. That's yeah. I mean, we don't have any option. I mean, we don't allow it. I mean, yeah. yes, I know it's on 90% of the houses, it's, but that's not 90% of the houses aren't in our overlay district or our historic district. They're in everywhere else in Conway and they are allowed there, but we don't are, allow it. Are all the duplexes and everything around there, they had already boarded siding? Like the houses that burned everything, that was already boarded soffit and fascia? I have no idea. They probably weren't in the over, the overlay district has only existed for just a few what? years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not, yeah. Even, yeah, not I, I even a decade. That's, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's, if it that's was, what it is. Yeah, yeah. that's what it is. Yeah. So if it was on those burned structures when they rebuild them, it will not. Yeah, they won't. Yeah. It gotcha. won't be allowed. And yeah. the only reason, even if you see an older home that might, like, like the lady before you all had the painted brick on her house in the Robinson Historic District. Mm -hmm. That's just something that was happened probably several years ago. If it came before us today or if we or if somebody just painted their house overnight, mm -hmm. we've had that happen and it's a big issue yeah. and they get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, but if you so. go down to like 3rd Street, 4th Street, 2nd Street, all those tons of vinyl siding houses there, mm. but any new construction is not vinyl siding. It's not allowed. They were those were yeah. grandfathered in. Yeah, and if yeah. they ever update, if anybody they, yeah. ever updates their and homes and removes it. We can't it. speak to somebody who, again, one that was here tonight that started windows without right. talking to us. You can, you know, the, if you don't need a building permit for it, it like, like some wood trim is messed up and they want to replace mm -hmm. and they go in with vinyl. If that's, if it's not, I don't know, but if it's not, permit's not needed, they don't get shown that they should do a certain thing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's things that, there's cracks in it that we can't, we can't deal with. So, but our standard is, you know, no, no vinyl on it. And that's, that's like I said, it's in the ordinance. It's, it's, we're not, we're not going to argue back and forth. Oh, I think it should be vinyl. It's, we just, we can't do it. I mean, that's our, that's where we're bound by that. But in terms of costs, I understand. Because we I know, built I know. our house a couple yeah. years ago. We understand the, the pinch point of that. But mm -hmm. some of the other recommendations are switching from board and batten. We're, we're requiring it, right, to switch from board and batten on both homes to altering that material. And I believe, lap, last just, I checked, that lap siding, even hardy siding, is a little bit more economical than board and batten. So hopefully some of the requirements will offset some of the additional costs for the yeah, hardy, yeah, si hardy possible. solvent. It's Not possible. that cost is the driving force for these recommendations, but silver lining, hopefully that will save a little bit on the pocket. And I think uh, most of the, uh, not most, uh, some of these requirements, um, I think go back to the heart of what Steve was getting to, like number six, eight, and nine, that we're just asking for there to be a little bit of variation, like especially if you're planning on doing this multiple, multiple mm. times down the same street. We just want this to look, um, we appreciate that you guys are spending the money to invest in the area of town that I think might need it the most. Uh, and so as you do it, just make sure that it's done in a way that each home that you do has a little bit of individuality that I think will yeah. only enrich the neighborhood and the diversity of the neighborhood a little bit. Yeah, and because these, these old neighborhoods had that variety, you know, right. you, you know, the subdivisions, you know, out west, that's not our thing, but, the, you know, there's a lot of repetition there. And that's, that's an economy of, of everything. I mean, I'm not going to argue that. It's just what it is. But but here we we trying to, part of our, our charge is to kind of maintain the neighborhood feel, and that's, Variety is part of it, you know. It's not like the only thing, but it's just it just helps, you know. Mm -hmm. So, it, and I, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know. It should help a, a, a square foot cost and a resale, uh, you know, ability of things, and and just you know, people want to, to invest in the neighborhood too. So, yeah. I think we all benefit, but I can't I can't tell you it's going to be this extra dollar for you. But it's just it's just been part of the mix that we we've, we've seen happen, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, we don't you know not trying to you know bust your chops or anything. It's just you know, there's some things we can't budge on. Yeah. And like a while ago, the wood windows, we can't, we can't budge on that. And that's unfortunate that we, somebody got started, you know, uh, before they knew that, you know, yeah. so, um, but anyway. Um, when did you buy this lot? Have you had it about three years? I bought it in August of last year. Okay. So almost, almost a full year. Yeah. No, I sold, I listed this lot, so I wasn't <laughs> going to vote on it if those no, were the buyers. I bought, it for, I bought it for my friends, Aaron Knight. That's who I, yeah. yeah. I was like, I don't remember your name on the okay, contract. Good, and it was good. about three so years you can, ago. You so can, now I can, you can participate. I normally yeah. abstain if I'm in the real estate contract yeah. at any. Yeah, well, that's, no, that's good. No, that's I, fine. it was him and I directly, no realtor or anything like yeah. that. I remember so, that. Cool. 
I mean, do you all, I mean, do have any other questions before we? No, ma'am, I don't, I don't think so. Yep. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and make a motion um, with recommendations as written, um, except we're going to remove on recommendation four um, the feature, the wide trim, and then we're going to strike recommendation seven. Yes. I'll second. Y'all good with that? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, we've got a motion and a second. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. I hope it was. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're good. Um, James can tell you what's next. Just get us revised drawings. Yes. Showing that and then we'll get the. Okay. Uh, really, the only thing is uh, just adding in that front window now at this point and then the flipping now that that one window got taken out, correct? Just the front window and the flipping are the yeah. only two yeah. revised wise. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, right. It was just to be a bigger window, or, window. What, or double Something window. Something about the attic ventilation. Yeah, I have two well. double windows on it. The yeah, I think is that what that's what it was, right? Mm -hmm. There's a yeah. double on one side and a single on the other. Right. You the, have this, double on both sides. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's that's uh, that. And then we're, we're not having window, to do the window so, around the corner either. So at least yeah, it should be the same. So make one that's got hardy board siding up top, and the other one got the vertical. Yeah, yeah to give it a lap siding, lap siding board and batten. Yep. Two different, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And flip one and then double windows on both sides. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sounds like a song. <laughs> yeah. No. Awesome. Well, okay. we, we appreciate it. Well, thank you, right. guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Y'all take care. They're headlining at Ted's Act. Board and batten and hardy board. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Isn't Aaron Knight? And, and I think the warm up group is no violent. <laughs> Isn't Aaron Knight a city employee? Yeah. Is that your mm -hmm. thing? Yeah. All right. Next one up is well, coming. Here, uh, we've got uh, at 1919 South Boulevard, a new non-residential structure. That's right. I have to officially recuse myself because oh, Joanne and I are business partners. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. We still have a quorum, so we're good. Okay. Don't make us send you the guidelines. All right. So name and address first. Uh, Joanna Napoltz, 1335 Brookfield. And just tell us what we got here. Yes, uh, this is kind of a mixed use structure. Um, it is a student um, services building for the Catholic campus ministry um, on UCA's campus. Um, so we've kind of tried to still make it look like a religious structure because there is a chapel inside, uh, but we did want it to fit in with the neighborhood. So it's kind of a mix between commercial and residential construction. So we have uh, quite a bit of brick um, and glass and then hardy board and I'm trying to think of what else. We do have some wood accents. Uh, we try, tried to make it a little bit of a youthful appearance on the exterior, but still keep it pretty traditional. Okay. And it sits right on the corner. Um, we think the kind of most of the students will be coming from campus, UCA's campus um, down south and so that rendering kind of shows the prime view, we think, um, of addressing campus and bringing students to. The kind of glass box on the corner is supposed to be able so we can see students inside hanging out, and that's their study areas. Okay. Did, have you seen the recommendations, the list? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I, several of them, a few of them are, are basically later with, yeah. you know, development review, but um, uh, did you see, the, I guess number one, uh, the they're suggesting we, you know a little more um, delineation of, of the South Boulevard side as far as addressing the street. Yes, you know, like is that so? There that? is a what I want, a huge setback <laughs> on that side of the property. So if you go to the site plan, um, I guess at one time South Boulevard um, is was intended to be widened. It quite was. A bit. It's, it's supposed to be like Conway Boulevard. Yes. It was supposed to be, yeah. And so there is a very, very large um, easement on that side. There's also two very nice trees that we wanted to keep. Um, and so because that was so far set back from the road, we decided to push it as close to Bearden and make that more, because we wanted to get the building as close to the street as possible to make it feel more downtown and um, addressing the street in the corner. Um, we had a monument sign on the corner at one time, but we took that out because okay. no I, monument signs. Yeah, um, let, so that was our addressing of the corner. <laughs> but let, um, let, let, let me, before we go yes. further, let me do my normal thing. Of okay. Anybody here, to, anybody else here to speak in favor 
of the project. Uh, Deacon Papini is. Um, would he like to speak or just, no. he's just I, I don't think so. Just in that? favor with the, okay. If he's in favor, that's, that's fine. Okay. Yes. Okay. Anybody to speak in opposition to it? And we're left with just one visitor, so I know she's not going to speak. Is she? She's going to speak. <laughs> so, so, uh, so with that, back to us now. I'm sorry. That's, I just had to get that out of the way. Yeah, no, for um, sure. My my only comment on the on number one there, but as far as you know, delineating South Boulevard, with that side, the the front corner of it, full of glass, lit up at night. You know, mm -hmm. you'll know it's there. The two big trees that I would rather be there than yeah. than a. a some kind of portico or whatever, right, right. Um, and that setback is a is wicked, mm -hmm. you know. From there, I'm personally I'm fine for it to be like it is. It's it's a it's a softer touch to South Boulevard, but it's still going to be. I mean, it's going to be a, a setting as opposed right. to. This is I'm I'm I'm, got, I'm not getting paid for this commercial, but it's but I mm -hmm. but it's um I just I think it I, I'm okay with that the way that's going to end up being the two big trees making it too I as long so, as yeah. you can Make it feel keep them. And we are going to add more trees down that line, um, well, that's, so it really that's, feels yeah. more. Development review make you do that, yes, but, yes, for sure. Yeah, but no, that I, again, I'm I'm not I'm not discounting that comment. But if we're going to talk about it, my yeah. my opinion is I think it's it's there's going to be enough openness on that side of that corner, yes. and then the trees and the setback kind of makes it in the distance, you know. Mm -hmm. James, do you want to add anything for us to consider with that? My dream was touchdown Jesus, but. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Could have, well, you can still put that out yeah, there. Like paint them on a tree or something. <laughs> yeah. Or not. Because <laughs> um, I'm did. okay with that as well, Steve. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, I'm, again, that. I think it's a valid a valid point. If it was on the street like it is on Bearden, I, I think that would be definitely. But it's, to make it prominent, not prominent, but make it presentable to South, to South Boulevard, you're going to have to really go out, you know, yeah. and, and there's the mm -hmm. setback is right there. I mean, so mm -hmm. it's, it's, it'd be hard to, Hard to do something, in my opinion, but a tree house, maybe? Yeah. yeah, the the only thing that I was really talking about was on the north elevation, some kind of detailing uh, on that. What, oh, on the brick? On the brick, yeah. We did add three tall, skinny windows there for Deacon's office um, here in the last week. So right okay. close, okay. Okay. there's three well, that's good. That's, windows that's in more, a row right yeah, there. Yeah, that's, that's, that's Okay. I'm that's, good with that. Yeah. 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 We're good with that. Joanna, <laughs> can you send the updated plans oh, yeah, with sure. that? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's going. It's still got development. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Through, yeah. So it's but, gonna, yeah. They, they I haven't guess we don't started. Understand haven't well. started the review process yes. yet. So, um, okay. So the other, um, let's see, we got number two was requiring additional detailing such as windows or variation materials in the large gabled area on the east facade where hardy mm -hmm. siding is used. Is that? Yeah, I think that? we can make that whole base brick and um, see what we can do on the pattern to try to break up that whole party board area. Okay, okay. So, yeah. Okay. Easily. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, we've got, you know, HVAC equipment to be, you know, yeah. uh, uh, the, the set the landscaping stuff we'll deal with. The only other one that's, that's I guess, we we could do or uh, they may do, but the 36-inch brick wall to screen the parking. Mm. And that's that's in that range of what's required anyway for parking lots and residential ah, gotcha. neighbors yes. anyway. So. And um, would it uh, right. would it be okay if it was like a hardy board screen? I just threw it out. I just had the idea, so <laughs> I apologize. I just I would, typically, what in the in the guidelines, it'll it would say something along the lines of either a, a brick or something. some type of planting. There's going to be a transformer there, and so I'm wanting to screen that transformer up probably six foot already as it is. Um, so I thought, I don't know, hardy board or something. A little bit taller, or a combination. Yeah, or maybe yeah, brick columns, and then yeah, uh, combination yeah. would be great. Okay. Yeah. that that awesome. would be a little more uh, less just single faced kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah. The, the, the words escape me now. <laughs> Mon yeah. It would be less monolithic. There we go. Yes, like um, sort of. Um, okay, yeah, that that would that would be good. That would sure. satisfy this this wall thing, and mm -hmm. also then like you're going to screen stuff, so that would work. Otherwise, um, again, conditional use you're going to need for uh, for that for the property. And the revised drawing. So the, the 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 recommendations were kind of minor on our part to to, yeah. to judge on here. So are the so. recommendations remaining as is? I'm gonna. I'll well, go. I'll go, Margaret. Well, it's. I'm yeah, gonna. Go unless ahead. anybody has any other discussion. Okay. I'm gonna motion to approve. I'm gonna strike recommendation one, but I'll add that uh, there's gonna be those three windows on that elevation that okay. are gonna be in place of the. Um, the additional architecture. 
Um, and then on five, um, change that recommendation to read um, a combination of brick and hardy board screening uh, for the parking lot and, and that's the transformer to be, to, to be determined and fit in. And, yes. and then they'll, they'll yes. approve that. But uh, allowing you to have that. You, 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 one, one thing, if I can, I'm sorry, number two, you said number two was, um, she's talked about oops, the, that elevation that had all hardy board. We're going to mm -hmm. do some brick that here. Mm -hmm. That was number two, right? On the east mm -hmm. elevation. Yes. yes. Yeah. We need, we're going to modify that. She's talking about putting some brick well, let's, in. You, we'll make a, I'm just, yeah. okay, yeah. I know if you had notes on that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. On item four, landscaping should be at least 1.25 times the required landscape. Well, I think we need to get a second before we have any discussion. Well, <laughs> yeah, but that, that's, that's plan department takes care of that in their development review stuff that we, that's okay. what he's saying, defer it, defer it to, to, um, to the development review phase, which is out of our hands. What's your name and what's your name and address, please? I think we do. Don't we need a second though second. before we have discussion? Yeah. yeah. Then now yeah, we can have open on. discussion yeah, okay. and we yeah, can update as second. needed. Sorry. Yes. Let's, okay. That's well, what I need. Let's, let's back up. We have a motion and a second. Yes. And the motion we was to change one and five, and then we can have discussion and we can make amendments to that yeah, motion. Okay. I'm totally okay with that. Why are we requiring, I mean, I love me some landscaping, don't get me wrong. If I had my way, I'd do twice the landscaping that's required all the time. Sure. But why are we requiring more landscaping on one project? I, I, that's a, that was a comment from them. That is, has been for the last couple of years a standard comment anytime something comes in that is non-residential in the oh, district. Oh, that's so. interesting. But same applied across the street to the Baptists. Hmm. So. What happens again? Open discussion. Not your, not related to your project. Now I'm just being nosy. If we had a project, of, I think a home that was built that we approved, that the board approved, whatever we approved, and like there's not a stitch of bush anywhere. What's the You're talking about a house? Mm -hmm. So the the only requirements that exist for single family residential would be the planting of a canopy mm -hmm. tree or something along those lines. Which we did on the mm -hmm. last one. Grass mm -hmm. straight up to the home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Minimalist. It does seem strange. Minimalist. Yeah. Well, and I, I agree. I mean, I maybe. So, it, like, it, if that's okay with residential, then we're. We're trying to hide these big numbers. I was going to say, I think it's more softening the look yeah. of, yeah. To yeah. Yeah. Commercial of a commercial space. space. What, it, yeah. what did a. Uh, percent more grass up to I, your. I, I, okay. The, the effect is that it, it's a, a few more trees. That's okay. what it is. Because like, there's. Like that's, that's the intent. Yeah. I like all the bushes and all the shrubs and the. To me, it's a. it's. I saw the 1.25 and I didn't. If I've, it's been on other ones, I didn't I didn't see it because it's like defer it to them, you know, yeah. later. So I, I don't worry about it. But okay. um, well, the the base I started from was the Baptist <laughs> Campus Ministry Review. I had to I dug back. I was like, okay, did I review that in 2020? Did I review that in 2019? When when yeah. did I review it? So, we yeah. add we we had come and go add landscaping last mm -hmm. yeah last it, month. It, it was uh -huh. it, it was in there as well. But yeah, but yeah, okay, yeah, okay, okay. So I have a motion and a second. And plenty of discussion. <laughs> we're, okay, so no we, amendment to the motion, correct? No, we're okay. well. With number two, we number two was uh, number per the yeah, applicant I think suggesting it's just, adding uh, going to add brick or other materials mm -hmm. to that um, and east it, elevation. And it says variation in materials, so I don't think we need to amend right. anything. Well, then you know that's fine. So no change on number right. two. I'm just reading it. <laughs> Did we get a second? Yes. Yeah, we had a motion. Motion and a second. And a second. Okay. Motion. Yeah, that's why we're discussing. Okay. Motion and a second. Okay. So we've Ooh. we've modified number one, and we've and modified number five the way we talked. All right, we've got that in the motion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. So, and awesome. again, you know the process. It, COA doesn't. They got a lot of stuff to do, but COA will be we're good with that. It's just now you got to go through the. The real Next stuff. Step. Yeah. <laughs> so, user. Yeah, conditional use. Yeah. Good luck with that. I'm, I'm just have to go to the planning commission. But okay. Is that? Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that um, everything? I'll motion to dismiss. Okay. Got a motion. Second. Second. So we want to vote or just get up? <laughs> All those in favor? Yes, we're in favor. We can talk about. It. That's not, I don't think that's oh. a, oh. yeah. I don't think that's a that's not I think, Yeah, the meeting should be closed now. Yeah. The light's still on. 